back here on the Cox Sports Report alongside Chris Park. I am Matthew Hatfield. Well, Chris, we now head out to Roanoke for the Conference 32 Tournament Semifinals. The Cave Spring Knights playing host to the Christiansburg Blue Demons. Christiansburg won a state championship as recently as 2012 when they beat Grafton in double overtime in that thriller. Now more of an underdog role here on the road against Cave Spring. Yeah, taking on a very tough and dangerous Cave Spring team in the home white jerseys and early on at Cave Spring half-court defense forcing Christian Berg to make the extra pass, and they do indeed, finding an open shooter in the corner for three. Alec Anderson connecting from long range there. Now Case Spring trying to get their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they will go to one of their top playmakers to do so. Brody Hicks, part of that brother combination with his sibling, Cager Hicks. A couple of cool names there, Brody and Cager, as Christian Berg can't connect from long range. The rebound tracked down by the, White, by the Knights, and they're gonna look to push the other way. And now they're going to set up the half-court offense. And Zach Fouts goes all the way to the basket and scores the layup. Remember the name Zach Fouts from the football field for Cave Spring. 17-9 lead for Cave Spring as they head into the second quarter here. And you see being very patient here on offense to work and find a quality shot. They are here as you see the pass from Brody into the corner. Shot is off the mark, but an offensive rebound there for Mason Rayer, the 6'3 junior, and he puts it in for two. Nice job with the second chance opportunity for the Knights. And then again, a step back jumper off the mark, a long rebound, and a great tip ahead pass by Matt Herndon. The shot's going to be blocked, but Herndon follows up on the play and scores with the left hand. That's why you don't put on the play, kids out there. You stay with it. Persistence there paying off for the Blue Demons, but unable to get some stops defensively against the shooters of Cave Spring. That's been the undoing here early on for Christiansburg, and this time you see the ball movement as they drive inside for two. Does Cave Spring here to extend their lead? No surprising Alex Embry with a good pass as he's a quarterback on the football team, and now the pass is going to be picked off by the Blue Demons, and they're going back the other way with it as they look to break on their own, and then the extra pass in the corner finds Herndon wide open for three, and he knocks it home. Earned and really supplying most of the offense for Christiansburg. Down by double digits at the half, it would be Cave Spring pulling away for the 70-44 victory as the Hicks brothers combined for 29 points. Herndon was 6-6 six six from the foul line, but the rest of the team just 2-8 of eight in defeat.